In this one we will deal with another aspect of date format which is POSIX L. It works like this as dot P O S I X all caps followed by L T in small and you write your date in this specific format the year followed by month followed by date. that is written within quotes now this i will pass it into my object class of a will be posix lt and posix t what's so special about this specific format let me demonstrate that to you i'll choose another date that is in June, let me go to 30th and this date I will pass as B. Now I, when I convert my date as a POSIX date format, I can do the subtraction and addition aspects. So the time difference it calculates when I subtract A minus B. This flexibility I don't think is there in other date format. Not only this, when I type A it just shows a string but it's not just a simple string it's a different class itself remember so we can extract the hidden information that is present in this string by using unless command and let me pass it into a1 so what does a1 contain sorry a1 a1 contains the second minute hour day month day month year weekday year day and the last parameter I don't I'm not really sure each of these elements you can e extract like this so it can be extracted like this or from A itself if I use this it will give the same value getting it right A similarly A of MDAY is going to give you 31 so unlist of A was one way to extract it there is also another way to extract this that is called unclass if I do one class of A and pass it into another object A3, A3 will also have a similar pattern but arranged as a real list itself. So from A3, I think you can do the dollar operation itself. Year of A3 is going to give you 114. So this is a really useful thing to know and it will be very useful when you are dealing with time series data specifically. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. 